What's up, guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a MiG-19 shell with no landing gear, no control surfaces, or no thrust. Not much of anything, really, so it's just a shell. So, what you're going to want to do is start with a half wedge down, one by two, like that. Then you're going to go you want you're going to want to go to PvP weapon, select the cutter, make it face forward like that. Then you're going to uh, put half wedge down one by twos all around it. Just like that. And then what you're going to want to do is copy these colors. Oh, I just hit my head. Uh, there we go. Copy these colors and then paint everything in these colors. Okay. After that, let's see how many half beams. You're going to want to put three half beams. Maybe with a bit of motor lock, you can add a landing gear or something. A bit more motor lock, should I say? So six half beams, three on each side. Then paint it 120, 120, 120. Then you are going to have to, now we're going to start the canopy. So let's get rid of that. I'm not sure how that stays together actually, whatever. Uh, you are going to want to add to one half wedge like that. Then you're going to want to put one, another half wedge, but from half blocks like that. Then put a half wedge down one by two here and then here. If you put it in any other way, well, maybe some other ways, but for me, it didn't work. Then one half wedge down, just, just like that. Then another half wedge from the same place. Then another half wedge, just like that. Then you're going to want to color it the basically anything you want, blue, black. I just recommend it, they're good canopy colors. And then what you're going to want to do is get half triangle wedges and place them like this. On both sides. Then you're going to want to put three half wedge downs just like that. And that's the canopy part done. And then place a main pilot seat. Where did I? Main pilot seat right here. In this orientation. Now remember, I used a pilot seat, not a main pilot seat. Okay. Same half beams on the bottom. Three half beams on the bottom. Uh, if you ask me why I didn't do that earlier, I don't know. Paint them all 120. Then what you're going to want to do is the, we're going to do the rear now. So we're going to get a half wedge down one by two and put it just like that. Once you're done with that, you're going to want to get two half wedges. Well, four technically, two on each side. Followed by a half block wedge. like that then you're going to want to get a normal half wedge one by two wow so spectacular and put it right 
here. First, you're going to put it there. Then, you're going to put it there. Then, you're going to get a half wedge down one. And then, you're going to put it there. Plant it all 120. And we got a bit of a basics done. Oh, and by the way, for the canopy, I got it wrong. Instead of have well, not the canopy. Instead of having your main pilot seat like that, if you get rid of the, this, we're gonna put that back later. You should have your main pilot seat like this. Then replace the half beam. Then paint it, you know, the drill, paint it 120. Um, if you deleted this like I did, put it back. It's a half wedge down, one by two. Uh, yeah. So, how many? This is a beam and one, two. Okay, so, get two half blocks followed by a beam. If you ask me why I'm talking so fast, I'm trying to get this quick because I got some, I gotta do a showcase, which is actually a Romanian tank. If I get, uh, let's see, 35 subscribers, I'll, I'll build it. I actually already did a showcase of another Romanian tank. Perfect. Now for the good part. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I messed up again, believe it or not. Instead, replace this half beam with three half blocks, and then remove the two half wedges right here. Then paint it 120. Y'all know it. Uh, motor lock. This is the motor locking part. Change your motor to motor lock. Then you're going to want to build a little tower just like this. Here we go. Then you're going to want to put a wing, pan wing panel. Followed by another little tower. Remember to check your motors that were on the motor lock setting. And last, last but not least, last motor locking tower, put another wing panel and six more motors there we go one two three four five six then one two three four five what you're going to want to do is place a half beam actually yeah Place a half beam like this with one side over the thing. Then color in the motor lock tower. Perfect. So then, what you're going to want to do, this is... In my personal experience, this is where the hard part begins. Get a wing panel one by two and put them on both sides. Then get a delta wing one by, actually two delta wing one by twos and put them just like that. And you don't have to, but 
I recommend putting a wing panel one by one right here. Oh, no, wait, sorry, you have to put wing panel one by one. I'm not sure why, but I just remembered. Okay, then keep placing delta wing one by twos on both sides. Boop, boop. How many is this? One, two, three, four. So, one, two. Put two, four more wing panels right here. Delta wing one by two. There we go. Uh, what was the last one? Delta wing one by two. Perfect. Now get two delta wing one by one and put, place them just like I do. We're going to be coloring the wings later because it, it, for me, it makes it easier. Not sure if it makes it easier for you or not, but yeah. Then you're going to want to put one wing panel behind the delta wing. Then one wing panel one by two. Just like that. So it's kind of in an L shape. Well, it is, but very bad L. Then what you're going to want to do is to get delta wing one by ones. And put them like I do. Last two. Perfect. Now we color the wings the same as red from the nose. Then we get a wing panel one by four. Yeah, I think wing panel one by four. Wait, we didn't do this right. Wait, don't color it. Change, change the red back to 120. Then put two more, put actually, you need to put two more delta wing one by twos just like this. Don't, mis don't make the mistake I did. Now, remember to learn from this. If you can learn how to motor lock from this, that, that's a great outcome. If you can learn even more, that's even better. It doesn't matter. As long as you learn, it's good. So, then you are going to want to put more delta wing one by ones like this and that and that is with delta wing oh uh, whoops that is with delta wing almost completed i mean no sorry that is the wing the wing the main wings are completed now color the tips all that stuff 
then what you're going to want to do, you already placed, I'm assuming you already placed the 1x4 thing, whatever it's called. But remember, I, as I do most of the time, I got it wrong. You need to make it not touch the motor lock, so you put it there. No. You put it there. There we go. Then you're going to want to get a wing panel one by two. Vertical. Then, wing panel one by three, you get wing, delta wing one by two, just like that. Sorry, just like that. And then, a wing panel one by two, you put it there. Color, for now, just color it all red, doesn't matter. To me, it kind of does because it's a bit harder, but whatever. Then you fill in all the gaps with delta wing one by one. Well, not all, but like just like this. And that's the tail thing completed. You can spawn it. Take a look. Take a little look at it. Uh, as you can see here. We still need to work on it a bit. A bit as in a lot. So, what else you're going to want to do is place a, another half block here. Paint it 120. Then you get half wedge from the half blocks. And put them all there okay that's weird. ah yeah right Consider it almost done. Now, this is a plane we just built. But you just gotta add one more thing. Actually, two more, three more things. Actually, a, a lot, quite a few more things. You get two half wedges from half blocks here. Color them all 120. Or actually, Color them black. There we go. And then we're going to be filling these gaps in after I build the last wings. So, then what you're going to want to do is get two delta wing one by twos. And put them just like that. Then behind the delta wing one by two, put a wing panel one by one on both sides, just like that. Then you get two delta wing one by ones and you put them just like that you should have this shape then once you're done with that it's hmm how do i explain this epic it's epic that's how i explain it
then you could get two more delta wing one by ones. You put one there and one there. Why am I even rushing? I can post it any time I want. Okay. Then color all the white and gray and we're almost done. The last step is to fill the bottom with half wedges, preferably with an auto clicker, just like this. Ready, steady, click. Mm, last time I was faster, whatever. And put around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve on each side, so twenty-four. Boop, boop. Fill it all in one time. And there you go. Your own personal MiG-19 shell. Yes, it's just a shell. Like, literally. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!